So, let's begin our first ever challenge run in Horizon Forbidden West. Or my first ever challenge run in Horizon Forbidden West. Which will be completing the entire main quest, or the game, whatever you want to call it, using only green weapons. And this includes also green outfits. I can only use green weapon curls, green weaves. So everything in regards to my weapons and outfits has to be green. That is the basic rules of this. And in case you are not familiar, in Horizon the weakest weapons in the game are green weapons. So that is what we are going to be, you know, using. Um, you know, to play through the game without getting any good stuff. This intro is weird, but I think you get the gist of it. And of course, we are doing it on very hard difficulty. Because as of recording this, very hard is the hardest difficulty in the game. Even though it's very likely in the future we'll get... Uh, some ultra hard difficulty, but for now very hard is the hardest So let's go for it uh, So let me quickly change here because when you start a new playthrough your hot settings change. So let's change that To be that And let's get going I will have a timer on screen, but this is not a speed run this is a challenge run, all we care about is finishing the run. Bitter? The no, timer is mainly just there, so we know how long it's, you know, takes once we're done. And so that people watching have an idea of how long we've been going. Those ruins. Yeah, good idea. I see a few ways down. So let's see how much of a challenge this will be. The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, we skip cutscenes now? We do skip cutscenes, yes. If you guys behave nicely, I might not skip the in the plot cutscene. Because you guys like always want to hear it, don't you? That did it. After you. A good thing here at the start of the run, though, that I quickly want to point out, is that you start out with a green spear, so we can actually use the spear in the beginning. As far as I'm aware, I believe once we get to Meridian or the Spire, we'll get a blue spear. And I don't think we can change back once we got the blue spear. The transmission. So at least here in the intro we can use uh, the spear, but for the rest of the playthrough we might not be able to. But I guess we'll find out when we get there. Alright, you can just skip these first barrels there, because you don't have to go. Unmut Kyder, so uh, you can buff him. What did he do now? Got it. Oh, he called me daddy. Yeah, that's a bit creepy. Yeah, found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. Yeah, if you want to see story content, then just watch my first playthrough. <laughs> Would I rather be called Daddy or Mommy? I mean, if I had a gun to my head and I had to choose, then definitely Daddy. But I would prefer neither. I am not a father. I guess they want us to check in with them. There's climbing gear. Someone dropped in from above. At least he guess right. Why doubt? I mean. They must have come here to Dell for scrap. Uncle Elk Passion. works too. That explains the smell. I guess so, yeah. And it looks like something this game doesn't have New Game Plus for, uh, yet, right? I haven't completed my. Yeah, there's no New Game Plus yet. Uh, just like uh, the first game, Horizon Zero Dawn did not have a New Game Plus on launch, and I would assume it's going to be the same thing for this game. Might be able to squeeze through. For Zero Dawn, it took about four months to add New Game Plus, and I assume it's going to be the same thing here. I think I got something. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Passed the bird right through his armor. Stronger than rope. And D plus is gonna be amazing for sure. I can't wait till we get it. It's gonna make speedrunning so much more fun. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Huh. 
There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. So yeah, this is my first challenge run in Horizon Forbidden West. I am aware that this is not the hardest challenge in the thought. world, at least as far as I know. Maybe I'll huh. be surprised as we get later into this run, but huh. for now, wow. that works. I don't think it's going to be the hardest challenge in the world, but as a starting point for challenge runs in this game, it's a good start. Don't worry, I'll find you another. And of course, whoa! Did you do that, Aloy? Um, <laughs> that was weird. But of course, as we get further in, you know, as we get further into our journey of playing this game, eventually we'll okay. probably do harder and harder skips. Or uh, not skips, I mean harder and harder. Um, harder and harder, um, why can't I talk right now? Harder and harder challenges. Because I'm sure you guys want to see spear only eventually, you guys want to see no damage. And probably some other things. So, eventually we'll get around to all of them, I'm sure. Alright, time for our first fight here, because we actually do have to fight these... Uh, to take it out with my spear. See me. We actually do have to fight these burrows. You can get spotted. Because of you. Since it's a tutorial, if you get spotted, you fail. But luckily we can use the spear, so let's just stab and be done with it. Nice and easy. Gotcha. Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Oh. Got spotted there. That's fine. We can use some big spearhead and then stab him. Should be fine. So you gotta move around. Can probably get a slide. Nope. I was hoping I could get a slide strike on him, but no. Didn't work. That's the last one. But yeah, I'm gonna use the fact that I have a spear in the beginning, cause. When you play on very hard in the beginning of a playthrough, your weapons are just super weak. But I guess in this playthrough, they're always gonna be weak, but even more weak in the beginning, because I don't even have Carl's and I can't even upgrade my weapons, you know, the gist of it. So, yeah. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Sorry, my whiskers offend you. Oh, yeah, change the title to what I've changed it to. Thank you. I forgot about that. Appreciate it. So let's make sure we get some loot here. Make sure we build up a lot of loot, because it would be nice when we can start upgrading some weapons that we have stuff for it. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Perfect to watch this uh, when eating dinner after the gym. Nice. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Okay. I should have what I need to But I also think that the beginning of this run probably isn't going to be too difficult. I think once we get to some of the later parts, I know there's a certain Thunderjaw and there's a certain Dutch person that is probably going to be really annoying when we get to it. Not to foreshadow too much, but uh, I do have a feeling that. Uh, that those two fights will be challenging. Can we please climb up? Thank you. All the vi video issues should be solved now on stream. Yes. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. As long as the video still looks so good for you guys on the stream, then uh, it should be good. With algae. And you guys say it looks you amazing now after we change the settings, so hopefully that's the yeah. case. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. <laughs> Let me bump, <laughs> We'll need to cut through that big nah. building on the right out there. Surely there's a chat where you are not, like kind of where he room. isn't, where you can get your revenge. <laughs> Given how many streams you are not in. There must be one. 
Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Merle. <coughs> we should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. <laughs> Little coward wall. <laughs> Damn. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. Fancy of them. Places I've been these last few months. Are you gonna grab that today, Ellie? There's supposed to be more backups. There you go. <laughs> that was weird. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was wow. worse. That big metal thing looked like the ship we saw back in the auditorium. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. We finished it yesterday, it was so good. Nice. There's a ladder in the back. GG. <laughs> He's taking the rest after all the speed running, true. But I also just wanted to get my journey started on doing challenge runs in this game, because I have a ton of ideas for challenge runs, so I might as well get started with one of them. And you know, to get a feel for how challenge runs are going to be, start shuttle, off with a one that on paper sense. shouldn't be too difficult compared to the other ideas, <laughs> which is just green weapons only here. I, to that tower. I, should be I feel like I'm talking down this challenge a lot. It's probably going to come back back to bite me in the ass later. We'll see, though. I might end up regretting what I've said. There. <laughs> that ladder can get me to the tower. I mean, of course, this run is gonna take longer than a normal speed run. There's a rail up there. We might not finish the run today, by the way. If I launch myself off that but if we point. don't finish, which is very likely, uh, then we'll just continue tomorrow. It's basically like my first run, like my first playthrough. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I also had green weapons for so long in that playthrough. Made it. Easy. Ah. Oh, that was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Uh... An any percent very hard record. It would be if I did it in one go, I guess, yes. Well, where to go but up? <laughs> then I guess it would qualify. Together. Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I want to move quickly here so the ground just don't see me. So I can just pull the thing out. So moving intentionally a little quick here to avoid those scroungers. Oh yeah, I do intend on using my stash in this run, so I guess it's not going to be a record. RIP! In challenge the runs, there's no the issues with using the stash. Okay, that creaking doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. This should be the right spot. Yeah, the stash is not allowed in speedruns. Because uh, there's no way to One down. account for uh, pre-order items. Climb higher and detach the second set of cables. Tiger exclamation point stash if you want to know more details. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. Maybe right. String a potion here before the slither fang, just to be at full health before we dive into that fight. Almost there. There's the other connector. All right. Well, the fang time here. I need to take this thing down. This fight should be fun. Center. 
Let's try and get some kits on the thing here so we can maybe get him to be poisoned. Dude, the thing is in this fight, there are gonna be pickup weapons on the ground, but they are not green weapons, so we can't use them. We are only left with a bow and a spear right here. Looks like he's gonna come free here in a sec. Let's just play it safe. There we go. Try spinning at me now. We get another step. Can good. Third one. No. There. The canisters are exposed now. I should aim for them. All right. Now he's broken three, I guess. So now we gotta be more careful. Let's just keep piling on the damage here. Thing here in the beginning might be one of the more difficult fights we'll do in the like early stages of the game simply because we have no upgrades and uh, we can only really use the bow here down to relatively low health. Just gotta keep piling on the damage. Alright, got to the cutscene part. Damn it, it broke free! I gotta take this thing down fast. That may be frost ammo. Or my focus might find something I can use around here. So yeah, in this section of the fight, we do have the pickup weapons, but we're not allowed to use them. Because I wouldn't count that as a green weapon. So I guess the strat here, let's just keep shooting him with arrows, I guess. I could try to freeze him, but yeah, let's not. Is he going to shoot something? He was showing his teeth there, so I assumed he was going to shoot, but nope. Oh, okay. Uh, I should probably drink a potion just to be safe. At least he doesn't do that much damage. I'd like to hit the weak spots here. Could do a better job of hitting these weak spots to be fair. There we go. Yeah. Great. Ready to dodge that. Nice, good shot. Just keep our distance there so we can react in time. Dodge. He's not gonna shoot a second time. Nice, we got it. All right, GG. Solid fight. It's dead. Finally. Very solid. I was afraid I was gonna die in our very first big fight of the run, but nope. Managed to do it first try because we are just that awesome. I was gonna have to find another way there. And I'm only saying that because I once, a couple of months ago, I got a YouTube comment of somebody said, telling me that once I don't I brag enough about my abilities Fix when I play the game. The that people are saying I'm too I'm humble. Starless. And I should brag more. So that was the most epic there. snake fight like ever because I'm just that good. <laughs> uh, I hate bragging, <laughs> if you can't tell. But good fight nonetheless. We made it through. Onwards.
Halo is backseating way too much in the game. I agree, that's actually one of the things I have in my fault on the game. Aloy does backseat way too much. I assume when they QA tested the game with like some people, they said the game was too hard without some hints, and that's why. But uh, but yeah, she backseats way too much. Now, how to cross over to the spire. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. I'll check when I get to change grip. Because like I don't think I can do it here. I transmitted something through the spire. Because I have the disc cuts in we're giving the blue spear. So we'll see. Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Better let Varl and Marad know what I found. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. So yeah, we're given the Champion Spear here, as you can see. We got a blue spear, and now we attach the Master Override to it. Like I said, I'm not sure if we can actually change back to the green spear. But if we can't, that just means I can't use the spear for the rest okay. of the playthrough. Yeah, Which right will be a little annoying because the spear is actually quite useful when you don't have that good weapons to work with. And release energy. But uh, we'll see. Maybe uh, I can change it uh, when we get to change grip. I'll have a look there. A fight. Is that the and because you guys are nice, I'll let you listen to the song. I won't skip the cutscene. This is the benefit of watching live on stream, I guess. <laughs> Since it's not a speedrun, I'll allow us to listen to it. Sticks and stones against the lightning? I have a feeling we are gonna hear that a lot in this playthrough. <laughs> Uh, Tilda's gonna be hard, isn't she? The speedrun should allow to stop the timer and watch this cutscene. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Turn off speaking. He did that low. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, the restart is this up. I'm too long. The path we lost. He did it on multiple fights, lol. I didn't find it that annoying personally, but fair enough, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Probably. And there's the title screen, isn't it beautiful? Like double time to get to the dawn, it's not a speedrun. 
just a reminder, because a lot of people still don't get it. Because I get Smoke's this question all the time. Something the machines wrecked. A speedrun is a challenge quiet, run, well, but not all challenge runs are speedruns. That is how you have to think about fuss. it. Maybe what I should just not have a timer on screen in the future, but nah. Nasty I like ones. having a timer. Lots of them. <laughs> Bristlebacks, they're called. You're in a meeting? Fair enough. Strangenesses, they're not native to the dot. It's just a lot of people up. always mention that. All of a sudden, <laughs> no hunters Couldn't you be going them? faster? No, it's well, a challenge run. Time hunters, doesn't matter. None that want to cross Olvent. Boss of chain scrape. He yes, is speedrun is not a speedruns are challenge stop. runs, but not all challenge runs are speedruns. Yeah, well, I'm just <laughs> Make it. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Carja Sun Priest. Is it really an elf stream if it doesn't have a time or true? Machine trouble started. <laughs> He's a very important My stream man. would feel naked so without says. the timer. Fat embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! Ha! Great. I gotta find we probably work. should make it a quote at this but point. Because I say it every time we do a challenge run. <laughs> uh, the quote that, you know, speed runs are challenge runs, but not all challenge runs are speed runs. <laughs> Machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. Should probably gather some wood as we run along. Good thing is we can gather wood so quickly now because they added the no pickup animation option in the settings. Dead machine. That must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my gear upgraded. Appreciate it. <laughs> Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Want to come in, savior? Welcome. Alright. So let's see here if we can uh, change the spear. But first, we are forced to upgrade our bow here. So let's do that. Can we fully upgrade our bow right away? No, we need a bow or circulator. I think we can get that a little later on. Probably upgrade the sling though, since we can. So let's just fully upgrade the green free sling. Will hopefully come in handy later. That should be useful. And let's get a stash. Uh, you actually have a blue... Oh, you also have a Kaja Behemoth Shortbow in the stash. Which is one of the bonuses for having the special edition of the game. Um, but yeah, let's just restock on everything. Uh, do we take the weapons? Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a Blastling. We're definitely taking that. Uh, we might as well take this. We're not taking the spear because it's no, a blue spear though. So let me check inventory here. Can we actually change the spear to the green spear? I don't think you can. Does anybody in chat know? Can you change the green spear to... Or change your spear back to the green version? Or are you permanently stuck with the blue one? There's only a green spear in the intro. Once you get to Meridian, you're given a blue spear. And I assume at that point you can change it back. Not that I know of, yeah. Alright, so I think we can just conclude that once you have a blue spear, you can not change it back. Which basically means that for the rest of the run, I am not allowed to use the spear. Because uh, it's a blue weapon. So no spear for the rest of the run. Do, do, do. Pre-order spear? 
the pre-order spear is also blue. The one that's in the stash. Oh, I don't know if that's a pre-order one or if it's a special edition one, but it's blue. So we can't use that either. Yeah, uh, I mean, in the early game, the spear might give me an edge, but in the later stages of the run, probably not. Am I not forced to open a middle flower? Yes, I'm forced to open a middle flower, but since that is not damaging an enemy, I think that will be fine. Just a little more, buddy. And I'm allowed to override a mount here. As long as my mount don't kill anything, we should be fine. <laughs> this whole area is really tricky. Hey! You! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers. That's always something. Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. The scrounger fight is going to be a little bit more difficult. On now. It's going to be very hard now. And I can't just stab these guys. See, the scrounger fight here would have been so much easier with a spear. I also have the blasting. I forgot to equip the blastling, so let's quickly do that. The blastling does do great damage. Last one. The problem is the blastling uses a lot of resources that we don't have, and I'm stuck, and I'm... Alright, we're dead. <laughs> Maybe actually use the trip wires. It's not really gonna change anything. Because I can't just stab them. Trip wires would be nice if I could stab them. But I can't. So, I mean, yeah, they're gonna be stuck for a little bit, but not really gonna change the fight all that much. I forgot, they're really annoying with how they jump. Make sure my mount doesn't hit them. Actually, I don't know if I'll make the mount thing a rule in this run. Because the mount is not going to make a difference. How the hell did I get so low on health there? Alright, let's bring a potion here. Uh, Let's use some bombs on this guy. Oh, nice. That was a good hit. Alright, one well, down. Yeah, I'm not gonna be too much in control of my mount, so I'll allow the mount to do some hits. Yeah, that shark attack is so annoying. Shooting underneath them do well, does a lot of damage with the sling. I'll keep that in mind, even though I don't think we have any more scroungers in the run. But GG. Thank the forge you showed up. The potion change. I think they do, yeah. Game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. Yeah, no death counter. So I hate having death counters so doing challenge well, runs because they are very you? demotivating to watch. Yep, more room. I sh While you're Did you maybe? So Aaron headed south. Uh, the potions change, so some of the potions later in the run, uh, as you can see, the potions are green right now, and they will be something else. Mound is purple, but you know, it's not a weapon. Able to pick up his track with my focus. Like, the rules I made for this run was basically just that weapons and outfits have to be the green versions. I forgot to check my outfits in the stash, I guess. The errands? My focus can help me follow them. Well, my weapons and outfits just have to be green. Everything else doesn't matter. And I likely won't use it anyway. I don't think potions are gonna matter much once we get later into the run. I'm probably gonna die anyway <laughs> in one hit. 
in some of these fights. By the way, the trip caster you get there is screen, right? Yeah, just making sure. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. I think you're only given one blue weapon on the run. When you just do main quest. I can't get an angle. Oh yeah, I could shoot the trap. I forgot about that. Canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. And turn him to scrap, Aloy. Just finish off this guy. And then we worry about the bristleback. Which doesn't look like he knows exactly where I am. Or he does, but he's <laughs> doing some Oh, that one movement. hurt. Very nice. Can't hit the canister right now. Oh, like hammer to metal. There we go. Got him. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the I'll see with potions. Maybe I'll have the potions, I don't know. You know what, let's just keep potions and trap screen, shall we? The only reason why I don't know if I'll keep it that way is because it would be really hard to keep track of. But I'm sure you guys will call me out in case there's something. Uh, how, how, uh, this, I'm okay. I know you was just. I need Aaron. It just. Real? I, I, but, Aaron. Come. Uh, hello. Uh, I, uh, listen, but yeah, let's just allow uh, green traps and I'm green sorry, potions. Where is it? It's, All right. And I'll try I my best to keep track of it uh, throughout Aaron, the run. Uh, listen, are you accept As we get, like, uh, more uh, traps and stuff. No. I'll keep an eye on it. Let me craft an extra trap here, because I want to... Let me craft a trap here. I want to use the very hard speedrun strat that I came up with, even though I'm not... Doing speedruns on Marion. I messed it up. I need to restart room safe because I wasn't ready. All right. Uh, yeah, I can't restart from safe. I have to load the save file before. Yeah, I assume it's this one. Because restart from safe places you in a completely different spot. There we go. So let's craft an extra bomb here because we're gonna Check use that for the bristleback fight coming up here because I have a pretty cool strat for it. And then also let's learn the skills here that allows us to place traps a little quicker. Alright. And it is full So here we go. Let's get a cool strat going here. We'll shoot this trap, because that's gonna kill that bristleback. And we're gonna Go over here and play some bombs before we fight the two remaining bristlebacks. Because there's gonna be two bristlebacks coming down from here. Which they have just formed. Okay, we got one of them with the traps. This guy runs underneath this trap, so we kill him with that. One less machine. And now we just need to finish off the last two with hazard arrows. But hitting bristleback canisters are a little difficult because if you look at the booty, it bounces around all over the place. Right. Another one down. And the canisters is on the booty. Where's he going? Got one. Got two. Nice. GG. And there we have it. There. Corey Very safe. nice fight. Stranger, come on over here. It was a strat I originally worked for the any percent very hard speedrun that I didn't end up doing.
but it's very effective and I guess it came in handy here in this any percent run <laughs> or not any percent very hard run uh, of green weapons only let's just get a bunch of loot because it's probably gonna need it later I don't know we try one necklace yeah but change I need to see the clips from Russ's debut? Uh, I did not know. I think I've cleared out most of the bristle bags. He drove past his pet rip. should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Vladis the good news. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. <laughs> Would I be able to do the arena with only green weapons? I don't know, but that sounds like a fun challenge that. at some point. <laughs> yeah, looking at the booty is faster. Maybe that will be the next green weapon only challenge, do arena with only green weapons. But in this run, we are only doing a uh, main quest. Alright. Uh... To give Wadis to Baron. It just looked hilarious, yeah, I'd imagine. What <laughs> if you move this? So yeah, just a reminder, the goal of this run is just to beat the main quest. If it's necessary, you might do some side quests, but I doubt it will be necessary. These are I knew you don't you the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. The only thing I might go out of my way to do eventually is, uh... The only thing I might do at some point is go out of my way to upgrade some pouches. I might do that. Also, let's check the stash here. It's just restuck. And, uh, open again. I also want to see... We have three green outfits here. Um, uh, low health range, second chance, low health defense, melee damage, power attack plus critical strike. Yeah, I guess we should use uh, this outfit just because it gives us a uh, damage boost. The other two really only help with spear. Let's use it. Armor is my All right, let's go for some upgrades here. Let's upgrade the damage sling here. I'm sure it's going to be handy. Uh, we need a scrounger circulator. We'll try and look for that. Tripcaster, I don't think Tripcaster will be worth upgrading. Same thing for the shortbow. I'm not a fan of the shortbow, to be honest with you. So, burrow circulator and scrounger circulator. We'll look for those, or maybe we'll just buy it. Um, <laughs> I might just buy those two parts at the supply guy. I forgot what he's called. The way to uh, one of the salvage contract guys. Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. Because it would be nice to upgrade those weapons. Should come in handy. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. Well, so I think we could First, potentially we could get a shop shop bow here. Let's have a look. Uh, no, we need a burrow circulator to buy the shop shop bow. So we need two burrow circulators. Gotcha. There's also an explosive blastling here, which looks better because it has perch water as well. Is it better than the one I have, actually? I mean, let me have a look. Uh, no, this one does more damage, and I don't think I'm gonna need the Purge Water anyway. I'm not a fan of using Purge Water, to be honest. Uh, explosive Trip Caster, Swift Warrior Bow. Yeah. So either we're gonna go kill a bunch of burrows, or we'll, um, or we'll just go to Salvage Country guys and buy them, because I don't think they're that expensive. Lighten but it might light. just be worth to uh, buy them. I, I'm and maybe well, really, but come but the all right. I normal, uh, sir, but no real. Where is the piece? Out the command. We'll this way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. 
The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. With two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change. So the embassy fight here. I should probably craft two bull bombs here. Nora got them back to work. I was come in handy. Yes, well, I'm sure. And I know there's a box in the embassy fight that gives us. Uh, um. There's a box in the embassy fight that also sure. gives us uh, acid traps. That we can use on the how are we to hold uh, regardless champion we have didn't yet shut up why how many it's a forbidden if you're ready that's right no but not well thanks so this tribe that Murad told us about the tanakh we need their permission to go west yeah well i figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time but this embassy hasn't started yet we're just gonna barge in. It's no more politics. Just I am your attention. They're about just enough. I, Sorry, but I'm. You are. I'll tell. So it's getting calling. To this. I've seen an arm. A bird. A grant. Attack. Take it from Chief. You can. Maybe. Your. Ch so let's do the embassy fight here. Stick to cover. We'll loot this box because it has other traps. And I'm gonna play some bombs here to hopefully get two of the riders. Because in the first wave of the NPC fight here, you only have to kill uh, three. Why do I do that so much in this game? I keep forgetting you can trigger your own bombs in this game. Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Anyway, let's uh, do that again. So I'm gonna place these bombs here to hopefully take out two of the riders without killing myself. Because they do ride through this little area here. Oh, we only got one. Maybe we can lure one into the other one. We'll see. But uh, in the first wave here, you actually only have to kill uh, three uh, riders and uh, their mount. A good way of doing that is to shoot one off. Can't use my spear, of course, here. I guess I could use my blastling here again. We do have plenty of resources for it for now, so I think it'll be fine for me to use it. That guy's almost dead. But I think I do need to be a little conservative with the blast bombs. But there we go. Three riders are now. And then in the second wave here, you only need to kill the uh, bristlebacks and uh, riders up the bristlebacks. And the Bristleback Riders should die from the acid explosions as long as I hit them. And we got one, and two, so... I might just be able to finish him off with arrows here since he's moving around so much. There we go, we got him. Alright. Switching to acid like traps here, we They're can now scared. use these on this guy. Using the traps we got. Ah, uh, we lost an acid trap, that's not good. Uh, he's... This is gonna be a little bit more difficult now. Luckily he doesn't do a lot of damage, even though we're on very high. Got a bomb on him. Nice. Problem is I lost the acid trap. I'll try to finish the fight without... Here. Uh... Alright, so I guess we're going for plan B here. Let's uh, go for some ball. I gotta pay attention and dodge him a bit. Feel the break if I hit hard enough. There, now's my chance. There we go, we got the shield away from him at least. We're doing decent damage. Um, the problem is, normally I would just fight him with the spear here, even on very hard. But I can't use my spear, because it's a blue weapon. I guess we just have to shoot him with some arrows and try not to hit the spear. Or uh, the shield, I mean. Oh, hello. Bit of a shame the bomb strat didn't work because it's quite shield. effective. I guess I'll get a second attempt if, uh, if he dies, but or uh, if I die, but hopefully I can still pull this off in first try. Um, would freezing 
health, but I guess it probably would. How much damage does freeze does to him? I couldn't see the attack there. Seems to do a lot to his shield, so hopefully it affects his too. Freezing does help. He doesn't stay frozen for long, Get but up. better than nothing. While he doesn't have shield, let's just do these body shots. Oh. God. Good thing is his like legs are exposed even if he has to shield out. Could also have tried to knock off his helmet to get some headshots. Why be efficient? When you can just You're wear him down. Now oh, we're out of medicine. That's not good. Much just make sure we don't die so we can actually finish this fight in one go. I feel like in this run I've already died an embarrassing amount of times. So let's try and avoid more unnecessary deaths. There we go, we got him. And I will say, even though the ways we died was more down to... Aloy. The ways we died so far <laughs> were more... Were not really because we had green weapons, it was more just because of my plain stupidity, but... Hopefully I'll get smarter during the run. <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, I wouldn't count on it if I was a betting man. Because uh, I have a tendency to do very dumb things. <laughs> Just quickly gathering some medicine here before we move on. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Good spot to take the shield. Not being able to use the shield? Why climb down? I mean, I can use the shield, right? <laughs> I assume you mean the spear, right? <laughs> I mean, the early game would just be a lot easier if I had the spear, but... La yeah, later okay. in the run, I don't think the spear is gonna matter. Off just about any cliff now. All right. Something's going Let's try and buy those spur or circulators here. Gotta make all other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. Oh, yeah. wrong guy. Really? I'm counting on you. Hey, Lloyd. So you can trade with the salvage contractors here, and they do have some resources that might be useful to us. Uh, burr circulator. They only cost ten. <laughs> That's a bargain. So let's get two of those, and we also need a scrounger one, if he has it. Uh, do you really not have scrounger? I mean, they are alphabetical order. Yeah, there you go. I uh, only need one of those. For now. Good call. That's a good thing. Uh, now we just need a workbench, but... I assume we'll get a workbench eventually as we get closer to silence. So we'll see. Need that contract before going on the hunt. Let's continue to what's death store. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. Must have been a huge thing. Get back now! They gave everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh Swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time. Oh yeah, there's the workbench before you enter Latopolis. I guess we can use that to upgrade the weapons. That's the passage Larian's contract mentioned. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. Showwalkers use this passage regularly, and Larian wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. 
catch the convoy by surprise. So I'll grab the kindle weed right away. It looks like there's a lot to explore down there. I wonder what I could find. By the way, does stream still look good, everyone? Now that you have seen it, like an hour's worth of regular gameplay. How are you guys feeling about the video quality? With all the settings we changed today? Still good? Stream looks great and nice. Good to you. Does it look better than it's always done, or does it just look better compared to... The settings we had at the very beginning. Location of the coordinates. Or is it like generally better? The workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place. I can't really tell while streaming because uh, the video I'm watching is like slightly lower quality. That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Fade away. Consider this message a beacon to Same as always, fair enough. Ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> Movement looks the same, but stand still looks sharper. Nice. That's good, I guess. What's up, Nick? How are you doing? Perhaps you need a reminder that you have failed. So you see, Eloy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. There's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Well, I better see where this trail leads. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. Crazy AI that wants to kill everything. Just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia. How? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Looks like the trail goes under the hillside. Just making sure, yeah, we only got green stuff from that. I gotta be on the lookout for like the menu, like what I pick up. So I don't like pick up uh So I don't accidentally pick up like a blue bomb or something and accidentally use it. Uh I need a burr sound shell and some braided wire for level three. Could get that eventually, otherwise we might just go on a rampage on some burrs. Uh, Scranger, Spot Carl, and Braided Wire. So Braided Wire is something we need. Upgrade these. What about the outfit? We'll go for some upgrades on it, because it's probably going to be the outfit we wear for the rest of the run, I'd imagine. Uh, Scrounger, Circulator, and yeah, we just need to kill some Scroungers and Burrows. Fair enough. What is actually the stats of the standard outfit? I actually don't know. Increased resistance. Yeah, doesn't really have any unique features to it. Makes sense. A ruin. Okay. Let's see where this goes. I guess Silence used that machine to haul his. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Hey, is that. Yes, even. Enough. Hello. Yeah. It will trust the air since that woman so when you that, so, as, that moment when you crave candy way too much and you find some licorice nice 
It took so poor. All right. Sounds good. Just it's a your little trick. No, you won't. Halo, think I'm deep, uh, but. It... Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soba. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The All door right, is completely leave messed time. up. This is going to be fun, isn't it? But despite the malfunction, you can still get the Everybody room. loves lead lashers and they're so easy to kill. See those crystals there? The Osram call them fire gleam. <laughs> they're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. And your silence, right? It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindle weed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find something in my link. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark yeah, coil that, that. and a leap lashes power nice. Remove. Now I just need to build this thing. Nice. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. That didn't matter without too much trouble, that's good. From your good. time tinkering <laughs> with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting valuable data. The blasters can be so annoying, so it's nice we didn't have too much trouble with those. Uh. There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing warp from the horse in the first place. Great. So the Eric fight here, I which is the last fight. thing we have left to do here in Letopolis. Shouldn't be too difficult. This should be... I mean, it's a bit more difficult because I'm very hard, but... It should be essentially the same as we do in the speedrun. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the test. The only difference, of course, is on very hard you have to shoot the red wings like multiple times. I think since I've upgraded the bow, I should hit them three times, but uh, it might be more than that. We'll see. Better shake off this wet. I still use the speedrun skip in here just because why not? The only thing we're skipping here is like okay. a lot of lore. We're not actually skipping any machine fights. <laughs> it's not gonna change the challenge run. Like the power's off, except for that console. It's Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like Trouble this much? recluse Probably. spider thing is a testing apparatus I'm for Gaia sure. and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. You should have enough skill points yes. for it, so you might as well, go. I guess. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups. Yeah, you have to hit them the three times. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the guy repository is stuck. Hitting them three so times. So we do need to dodge Eric a lot more here. Okay, Alright, let's then. go for it. Let's see what you can do, Eric. Uh, since we have to hit the red circles here three okay. times, so... Break the I guess we're gonna do a better job of dodging Eric. Go. 
also since it's very hard, he's gonna do more damage. If he actually hits us. Thank you, girl. Another one down. What are you up to? Is he charging yet? Nope. Oh. Here we go. Come on! Shoot at me! Knock that ring! I shot a lot more that time. This kills all mine! Much better. Careful. Got it. Quit fooling around. Yes. All right, final ring. Come on. Very nice, and then just the stem. The stem should still be one shot, even though it's very hard. Yep, and it's that shot apparently. I could get that shot off. Should just hit that and then we're good. Nice. Alright. Survived there. Granted, kind of that fight is not too difficult if you know what you need to do. So we're good. You're stuck here for hours. <laughs> really? I'm curious if you have a video clip of what happened to you if you were stuck. Play that. Shit. There, there's a curve. Have I died yet? Uh, I've died twice, right? I died to the scroungers because I did a terrible job of uh, there, a current. dodging, and then I died a second time to a trap in the embassy because I forgot you can activate your own traps. Because <laughs> that is still a thing I forget. Uh, I still forget that that's a thing in this game. There, there's a current. It's heading for an exit. He is whistling some song, but I don't know what that's called. I'm sure it's a song that. Uh, an actual song. I can't put my finger on what it's called. That that was Scar. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? Is it the Hall of the Mountain King that song is called? Looks like some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. But nice. Made it past Latavolus. Okay, well, hold up. Any weapons worth buying here? Let's just have a look. Can I get some resources? Can I buy the wire here? I don't think I can. I need to go to a... Uh, need to go to a different... To I think I need to go to a salvage contract for that. Have I gotten any of the stuff for upgrades? No. You're surprised, I guess. I need to... Um, let me head back to the salvage contractor and see uh, if we can buy some more stuff that we can use for upgrading some of the weapons. Huntress, you're back. Too far behind, PB? <laughs> yeah. Michael, thanks for the gift sub to Weaver. Really appreciate it, Michael. Thank you so much for the generosity. And Weaver, enjoy your emotes. Hello. And Michael with another one, this time to Oscar. Thank you, Michael. Really appreciate it. So nice of you. And uh, enjoy emotes, Oscar. <laughs> oh, we can buy the braided wire here. Nice. Uh, let's just buy 10. Uh, actually, no, that's really expensive. Let's let's go with four. I think we only need four. We can buy more later as we get more shots. We don't have too many shots in the beginning. I need another scrounger circulator. One upgrade. Um, which is here. Can I buy the... the other thing? Oh, I can, but we need process metal block to buy it. 
They were sure probably just farming out instead. Good call. Did you find those shell walkers? Actually, wait, could I buy the spot coil from the scrounger? I forgot to check that. If that was for sale. Um, I can, but that is also process metal block, which we don't have. So it's fine. What you were looking for? We'll just farm them out. Oh, Michael, and gifting once a scar as well. Thank you. Goddamn. Really appreciate it. And, uh, Scar, enjoy the emotes. Yeah, Eric is Dutch, I'm pretty sure. I think Tilda mentions that. But, uh, yeah, Eric is a very normal Nordic name. At least in Denmark and Norway. Not sure about Sweden. Oh, wait, it is in Sweden, but in Sweden they spell it with a C instead of a K. Um, you did play some League and chilled around since I was getting dinner soon. So I just wanted to bridge time, getting dinner now. Okay, fair enough. Thanks for the raid, nonetheless. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll go and uh, get that burrow pop for the upgrades now. Before we progress the main quest further. Because we might as well get some of these upgrades out of the way. The better our weapons are early on, the easier this run will be. Um... That's a good shot. So we need one of them to drop a purple thing. I'm so tempted to use my spear on these guys, just saying. I know I'm not allowed to, but... God, I can't tell you how tempting it is. <laughs> Trying too much to design. Should just go for those buddy shots. And it didn't even drop the pawn I need. Great. At least we're getting some of that blast pace. For some bombs. What do I like bur more, burrows or watchers? Definitely watchers. You'd be crazy to like burrows more, wouldn't you? <laughs> Alright, so I guess uh, let's just head over to the scrounger side and uh, kill some scroungers. Oh, is the thing on that chest? Oh, right, yeah, you might be right. Wait, isn't that the case with the... Oh, yeah, I forgot it's the part I need to shoot off. Isn't that the thing with the scrounger as well? Let me have a look. The scrounger part I need also needs to be shot off, right? Oh yeah, it's the thing on the bat. Yeah, 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 so we need to shoot off the bat thingy. So we need two of the bats from the scroungers. It's nice to be able to refer to them as bats. And he didn't even drop one. Fantastic. It's a ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. Is that an apex? No, it's a sentry. I assume the sentry will drop the same thing. But, uh, let's just go for this guy. That's not a blue one. Damn you, game. I need a blue one. Let's get across this metal block there. Nice, 
so that's blue. So we got one of them. Alright, let's head back to the borrower side. So the bats can respawn on the scroungers. So it's the chest I need to shoot off. Yep. Isn't the chest like super hard to get off though? Are you sure it's the chest? I should actually look. Wait, that doesn't count as a scan? I call that a scan. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. No. So yeah, we do have to shoot off the test. That's annoying. It's not an easy target to shoot off on these jumpy boys. Because if there's one thing these burrows love to do, it's jumping around. And also missing too much the chest is gonna cause me to just straight up lose the part, because then they'll die before I get to shoot it off. Unless this final shot has to be ahead. Okay, it was good. Oh, careful. Okay, better. We got one. We need one more. I think we actually need two more eventually, but let's just go for one. Burrows jump way too much. It should be more stationary. Uh, I don't think I got the pot. I think it died before it got shut off. This is like a really annoying part to farm. It's like the chest is like moving all over the place. Uh, how the hell did that miss? Excuse me? How are you supposed to hit that? There we go, that was a good shot. There we go, gotcha. Thank you. Oh. All right, back to the scrounders. Nice. Let's get one more scrounger, but That one is scripted to just not drop one. Could be very likely. That one didn't drop either. Maybe the century will drop again. Okay, century scrounder is for some reason consistent. Nice. Beautiful. Got what we need. Set the Baron Light and get those upgrades. So far, this run is definitely testing my aim. <laughs> Having to shoot up all those butts and uh, bellies of the most. Jumpy machines in the game. I know you can check the drop rate, but I don't care about the number, I just care about getting it. At 
least for now. Don't need to exactly know the details of it. Let's get that uh, green sharp shot bow now as well. Um, that will certainly come in handy in this run. And where's the upgrade table? Um, there we go, fully upgraded the Honda bow. Which also means we can put a coil on it. I'd love to see it. Leap lash or circulator, and we need some shots. Uh, apparently, shots is what we're sh showing on. We should have something to sell. Um, uh, I guess we'll sell the carls we know we're not gonna need anyway. Oh, wait, let's sell that. We got some more shots and then we can get the third upgrade for the blastling which will also very much come in handy um so yeah we need leap lasher some wire for that for the sharp shot nice i think we're good for now and what do we need Uh, actually, wait, couldn't I upgrade the outfit as well? Before we leave? I think I forgot about the outfit. I always forget about the outfit, don't I? Yeah, and we need more shots for the outfit. We'll hopefully get some more shots later. Maybe when we get to the base. I don't think the outfit is gonna make that much of a difference anyway, given we are very hot. We're probably just gonna die quickly anyway. But yeah, let's move on to plain song. Show Which hundo am I going for in this run? I don't know what you mean by that. Once they're plating, I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. Yeah, but the hundo thing is uh, because the hundred percent thing is fixed. If you're asking what the goal is of this run, the goal of this run is just to finish the main quest. Looks like a satellite dish. If I can climb it, should be able to reach that tall neck. The hundred percent command is for uh, hundred percent being hatched now, since a lot of people have uh, asked about it. I don't get guided. At least it works for me. There's still some issues for some people, but uh, for the majority of people, it's fixed now. More of the Utaru's land gods. Something to hear the chores sing. It's like they're still following my programming. Even though it's killing everything. Ah! Can you just buy the green spear thrower, or do you have to do the boomer side quest to get it? I actually don't know. I know it deals a lot of damage, so I might, might actually want to pick it up. But I forgot, can you buy it eventually, or do you have to do the side quest to get it? Because I think the side quest gives you the blue one, right? Isn't there a green one you can buy? Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade some pouches eventually. I don't think I need to do it now, but... Eventually, once we get to some late game stuff, for sure. You have to do the quest? Okay. Then I'm we here. might do that. I don't think I need it right now, but after the base, it's probably going to be needed. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Without, um... Oh, tower should definitely be do doable. Uh, wait. I don't need to check upgrades here. So the and the what piece up you should us that I could Curious to see what can I you prefer. buy here? It's only blue ribbons, right? Yeah. Rip. Out of machines to sing a 
Oh, I also forgot. Probably put a Carl on a weapon. Noted. We have Carl slots. Um. Do I even have overdraw on this bow? I don't think I have. Yeah. That Carl is not useful. Yeah, plain song is really beautiful. What about outfits? Any well, good green outfits here? No, also blue. Please, come back again. I don't think we're gonna get a much better green outfit than what we have. The two love birds are really slow. This is why we restart from saving the speedrun. But I just wanted to check other stuff while we waited anyway. And we get to hear more of the charts. So I guess you guys are not complaining. <laughs> Let's head to town. Yeah, why is the hunting ground thing not? Oh, does it only appear when you restart from save or something? Yeah, not talk to. Her. Oh well, I mean, I guess we can go the normal way. <laughs> not a speed run anyway. Fighting in the fields ahead. Machines are everywhere. Good more, you know. We have to press onto the cordon. Just don't leave us behind. These machines don't go normal. I've seen these machines before. If I'm right, then yeah. What was the leap lasher thing I needed to get? It was the spark collar, right? To the upgrades. Because we're gonna be fighting some speed, uh, some leap lashes inside the tower. We might be able to just get the spike call from that. If we remember to shoot this off the bats, is the path of the land gods. it's not going to be we'll easy, but to at least give it a shot. Don't go too far ahead, or I'll lose some help. We better be ready for anything. Gordon. Or what's left of it. So many dead. They will be mourned when the time is right. For now. Let's get all the loot them. here. Thanks, the there's a lot of good stuff. We actually get a blue outfit here. <laughs> Guess we can't take it. Wait, regular overdraw potions are blue? Aw, oh, rip. I guess we're not using overdraw potions. That's unfortunate. Let me just make sure none of the bombs I'm carrying are blue, right? No. May the land gods forgive our trespass. So yeah, this sleep blaster fight is probably gonna be a pain. What's that ahead? Like a cauldron door. Oh, yeah, I could loot them and just sell them, but um, I don't want to have them in case I accidentally uh, mess up <laughs> and use it inside tower. Machines. Not like any so with these knockdown arrows, are they actually gonna knock them down in one shot? Right behind you. Probably not. I just need to fight one on one so I can get that bad. I need to stand still for a little bit. Looks like I have to shoot twice no matter what, so there's no reason to use sharp shot. Well, I didn't drop the thing I wanted. 
Oh yeah, the drop rate is not guaranteed. Okay, this fight is another fight that is so much easier if I could use the spear. <laughs> He didn't drop either. You're trying to shoot off the bot, sir, so I can maybe get a spark pearl. Yeah, none of them dropped a spark pearl, so it was a waste of time. Well, let's just finish them off then. So annoying. Always something trying to kill us. I, know, I feel like Val and So hasn't really done much damage either. I'm gonna take this one out. No point being subtle. We got plenty of uh, uh look at it. Aloy, get to cover! Machine muscles doesn't really do more damage. I don't think we're gonna use the bombs later anyway, so we'll just use the bombs on them. Got them all. Gotta be a little worried about my resources as well. Because I don't wanna run out of resources here, because that means I won't have anything for the actual fight later on in the cauldron here. If the land comes, repair me. Whatever you want to call it. Made here. They're being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is in here. So we gotta be a bit tactical about that as well. Maybe, but actually let me look at skills here. Can I learn a brace shot? So brace shot is three one two three four. Oh yeah, I can afford it. Let's get the brace shot. Does anybody know if stamina potions are green or not? Like the standard stamina potion? Probably start learning some skills here too. Concentration plus will be handy. I'm allowed to use resources that aren't green because otherwise that would be a little difficult to keep track of completely and that would limit a lot more of what weapons I could use so it's just traps potions weapons and outfits and coils need to be green they're like an infection that thing I said it wants us dead it takes over places Should have learned that Valor Surge before machines. fighting the Leap Lashers there, but it's fine. It's called Hephaestus. Just means we are not gonna have Valor for the, the fight with the Grimhorn, but it's fine. We might get Valor enough from the Grimhorn maybe to use it on the machines that are left over though. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, just have to I'm back up now. I'm getting so good at that skip. Uh, what did I just do? Festus's cables are all over that node. But maybe I can override it. But yeah, since my power is not that big, I gotta be tactical about like what ammo I use in what fights. Because if I use too much in one place, I'm not gonna have it for you know the next fight, right? So that is the thing I need to keep in mind here in the early game. Probably just generally have to keep that in mind throughout the entire run. All right, let's see what we can do. Try 
Big fight in here. Hopefully it will go well. Or it will crash and burn. We'll it's see. Taken over facilities <laughs> before to What's gonna happen? Build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. Do I actually have stamina potions? Let me check. I do. But they are listed. Oh yeah, the small stamina potion is green, so if I have one I can use it. Good. They used to be part of something good. So we are allowed to use small stamina potions. They call Gaia. They'll probably come in handy later on in the run. We have to get down there. Alright, so let's see how this fight goes. Okay, restart from safe to recharge the override. We have to get down there. Welcome back, Scar. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Alright, so let's see how this fight goes. I'm gonna start off the fight here by using my two acid traps on the Grim Horn here. Because you can place them before he starts moving. Which hopefully should completely cover him in acid. Which it does. And then let's go for the brace shot. To get a good amount of damage on him. Like that. No, let's damage him while he's on as a whoa, I didn't mix. He wasn't looking at me, so I was not thinking it was gonna hit me, but of course it was gonna hit me. I should just assume it will. I only get like around 50 damage with these shots. How much do I get with the, this bro? I'm getting decent amount of more damage with this, so. I should probably just hit the cannon with this until we got stamina back. Do I have to have the weapon out to get stamina? No. Do not. Gotta also pay attention to health here. Whoa! Ah, that's my bad. I did. I, I saw his shot, but I didn't think it was gonna come that fast. We have to get down there. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had a long fight with a Grimhorn. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting that shot to hit that fast. Okay, so when you shoot, you need to dodge a lot quicker. <laughs> Alright, round two, I guess. That dome of Let's light. do this again. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. So yeah, let's go for it here again. We place down the bombs here before he starts moving. Because he's like idle for a little bit. And those bombs should hopefully. And that didn't work, so let's restart from safe. Because sometimes it doesn't work when he does that. Because apparently he can destroy bombs without being hit, which is just great. There should be a node I can override nearby. Anyway, let's try again here. Same thing. Walk up here, place the bombs. Because he's idle for a brief moment. And this time, hopefully, he's gonna hit them. No, he's a dick. We have to get down there. That dome of light. Why does he have to be so annoying? Yeah. There should be a node I can override. We all know which way this is gonna go, so can he just accept his fate? Hey. To get down there. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. Now I'm there just annoyed because be this is weird. Like, why is this not working? Let me place them on the side of them then. See if that changes it. I mean, I guess it did, but he moved a lot quicker. Have to get down there. That's not gonna work. That dome of light. Hmm. Is it protecting the machine? There should be a node I can override nearby. Like, why does it work perfectly the first time you do it and then following up, he's just not gonna do the thing? Come on. Thank you. What? 
Excuse me, sir. Have to get down there. That is not how this game should work. That dome of light. Is that a bug or like what is wrong? There should be a node I can override. Like, this is clearly not how it's supposed to work, right? Okay, I'm gonna place them a little further away from him. Maybe he just has iframes for way longer than he should have. No, he's still. This is clearly not intended. And this is dying to bit me off. That dome of light. Why don't things just work? Yeah. The way they are supposed there to work. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Hmm. Way more on the side this time. Let's try again. Ah! Why does he move? Does he move faster or does it take me longer to place the bombs when I'm on the side? Like what happened there? We have to get down there. That dome of light <laughs> is it protecting the machine? Yeah. I'm losing there my sanity here. I can override nearby to shut it down. Come on, man. this should not be so annoying. All right, let's run away from him. Thank you. All right, this time we got it. Nice, good shot on multiple hit points there. How much does a bomb do on him? Take this ammo. Ooh, that's a lot. I did get rid of this. Uh... That's a bit of an issue. I did get rid of the asset, but the asset didn't do much, to be fair. Yeah, we gotta be ready to dodge as soon as he shoots. It seems like he's just very shoot heavy. Right now. Not a good stun look, yeah? I did not mean to do that. Okay, we got another brace shot lined up here. We just need him to be stationary for a sec. Like so. Good shot. Right here. Forgot how annoying the grim on it. What? I dodged. What? I, I must have been stuck on the floor there. We have to get down there. I dodged that. I swear. I must have been stuck on the floor there. That made no sense. Is it protecting the machine? Mm. Yeah. Oh well. There should be a node I can override nearby Boom. to shut it down. do it work before we use the sling this time. Just keep piling on some damage here. Machine's got heavy weapons on its back. Good shot. If I can detach them, I can use them against it. Did I get a better shot on the bag of it? Whoa, what the I did not expect them to shoot in front of me. Really hard to hit his sex when he's moving like this. Yeah, let me get enough out of my slings this attempt. Let's bring a potion while we can. Could have stamina again.
Oh, water shot. Oh. oh, let's stay a bit more focused here on this. Playing a little too fast and loose there. Got pressure. Shot. No. shot off, perfect. Gotta be careful here. Can't get hit by anything. Drink. All we have is shot. Well, there's a break. Just a reminder again. I can. Nice, we got him. Got any of the other machines left? Woo. Now the key is just not to die to these guys. But yeah, there are weapons on the ground, but just a reminder, since they are not green weapons, we are not picking them up. I don't know what pickup weapons would even count as, but I'm not gonna count them as green weapons. In case you're wondering. Getting somewhere. I guess I could have used a Alice Archer towards the end, but... Oh well. We're finishing this fight without it. Let's save it for whatever is next. GG. Got the fight done. Could have aimed a little better here and there, but oh well. That was... Decent, I guess we got it. <laughs> Bit annoying the bombs had to be like that, but oh well. We eventually got it. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. <laughs> How's it going till now? Oh, it's going all right. The core. My focus is showing Pretty solid. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Granted, could be going better, but we are making progress, and that's all that matters. Security grid on the cauldrons. The data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Gotta get Greetings, that free loop. So now we have at least made it to the base. Uh, Which basically, in my opinion, I'd say spirit? this concludes Minerva? Act 1 of the game. I don't think so. And we're heading into Act 2. At least. So far, so good. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? <laughs> Minerva's definitely yeah, here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and I think it's trying to keep us out. I feel like you can kind of ahead. split it See in two. Way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Egg one being Minerva from the beginning. Us. Let me make or sure at safe. prologue, obviously, okay. being intro and we'll be meridian section. Then Act 1 is from the dawn until you get here to the base, and then... Act 2 is uh, after the base here until you get uh, back from Thieves. And then the final act is from Gemini until you beat the game. If you... That, at least how I see the main quest. That's how I split it. I would split it up. Okay. I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Yeah, you could make a great movie if you wanted to out of those events. I know at once ends when you talk to Minerva, that's what I said. Or men. feel a draft above. You know, when you get to the base area is what I meant. I included oh I include Minerva as part of the base. 
you know, bases so until I'm on the opposite way. side of the mountain. Is basically what I mean. Sorry if I was a bit misleading with that, but I was thinking like the speedrun splits terms. Welcome back, Kaida. I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally, bring her back. And we can start fixing Am I going to play Lego Star Wars? I really want to play it, yes. And maybe she can help me figure uh, out but I probably won't get it until like next week because I'm a bit busy with this Elizabeth. week with like other stuff. Are you gonna I jump in the soon? Thank you. So but yeah, I really want to play it. It looks super fun. I think I can clear that. And it's cheap. It's not full price, which is kind of interesting. Ah, I respect shaft. that. Gotta support more games that don't chart full price. Because every AAA game these days okay. just has to charge now full to price for almost no place. reason. <laughs> when I feel like a lot of them could easily explore different price points. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So Unbelievable graphics for a Lego game? I haven't heard anything about the graphics, but uh, good to hear. I mainly heard about all the stuff they had added to the game, apparently. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initial... Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Uh, huh? Yeah. Alt, you... Yeah. Maybe a while... Yeah. Do you know... Yeah. Prong. So I think for the subordinate yes. functions, I think for this run it's probably best to go to Las Vegas first. We're not compared to going to the bulwark. I think we're heading to Las Vegas first. What about I think I'll under one stream though I to put should you you can I will assume is there I did is uh she had do you live up abs in her in you, you think what I have the other ball whoa uh can you Be okay I need to bring Poseidon back for Gaia Marl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit to it the campfire I could head back east first Check on how plain song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here right. some more. I need a little bit of a bathroom yes. break here before I continue, I everyone. Be so way. if you guys will after give me like enjoy. two minutes, then I'll be right back. The Tanakh clan lands. So be right back in like two minutes and then we'll continue. And who knows what else? Snow's melting on my clothes. Great.
All right, I'm back. So let's continue. <clears throat> Um, so before we head to head to Poseidon, I'm probably gonna go and do the Puma quest so we can get the get the spikes. Because apparently the green spikes you can only get from completing that quest. So we're gonna go and do that. But I uh, might as well travel down to Las Vegas and unlock the fast rail point since we're here already. So I we'll go we'll unlock the fast rail point and then we'll head back to uh, Chain Scrape to get the spears. Or spikes. Gotta use the proper uh, name for them, of course. Because I think the spikes will come in quite handy with some of the big fights we have to do. For the subordinate functions. Because we had the Tide Reaper, the Tremor Tusk, the Slitherfang, and the Dreadwing we have to fight. And as I'm sure you probably can figure out, none of those fights are gonna be easy with green weapons, so the better weapons we have, you know, the better odds we have. Bristlebacks are slightly faster than Chargers. I'm pretty sure that's not true, no. The archers are faster. Thanks to the speedrunners that I've timed it, I'm pretty sure. Smoke. I haven't timed it myself, but uh, I trust the people that timed it for speedrunning. Check it out. Some kind of boss room camp? How'd they end up out here? The guy made a YouTube video about it. I must be closing out the signal. I don't know about that. I haven't seen it. <clears throat> Claw Striders are the fastest anyway. No, they are slow as fuck. <laughs> Rebels. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take them out. I'll probably do some proper timing myself, but... I think with speedrunning charges are still better, because... If you even get across any Bristlebacks, that would be worth it to override. I guess a couple of spots you could get one, but not in the early game at least. Because all the ones in the early game you... Wait, no. Do you get... When do you get the Bristlebag over, right? I mean, you get it from Tower, so you wouldn't even be able to get it in early game. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe the Sidon is underground. That's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Water's pouring out of that building. What's Simon's doing? How about it? Alright, so we unlock the fast roll, so let's head back to change grid. Should probably also look into upgrades for the remaining weapons we have. If we can get those out of the way, we might as well do it now, I guess. Just to make our life easier. Also, we got some more skill points, so... Probably upgrade our power shot, because I think that's gonna come in handy very soon. What is the skill? Uh, concentration regen, I guess. Eh, probably won't be worth it. Uh, we can upgrade those, but we don't need to. What did we need for this one? Leap Lash or Circulator? I'm just gonna buy that. And then we need a Spark Coral. Uh, we'll farm that out. Spark Coral and Leap Lash or Circulator. Actually, we might be able to buy both, because we do have some... Um, uh, we do have some... Um, Lots of gold metal blocks now, so you might just be able to buy them. Can't exactly lock them out now, can you? Well, I hope Let's go find Boomer. Oh, yeah, sure. Get around here. Forgot what Boomer's sister is called, though. I guess what I'm about to relearn that. <laughs> I, 
I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. It's not him. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad <clears throat> idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? <laughs> ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Uh. <laughs> Could you just not? I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower. I was just living into the dialogue again because I've only heard it in my first playthrough. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to meet the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fanghorn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. All right. A bigger boom. Let's do that. I guess going to the charger side is probably faster, since we're right next to it. Three charger horns and a thing horn rip. Gonna have to shoot off the horns for Dell and Boomer. Let's do that. Oh. I thought I jumped in time. A horn. Oh, we got one horn. Two horns need one more. Charger horns for Dylan. Hello, Burr. Hello. Just need a rib and that fang horn you were talking about. And now let's go and grab that fang horn thing. So, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this side quest, uh, people tell me I can only get the green version of the. What's it called? Uh, javelin thrower thingy. Uh, if I complete the side quest. Otherwise, you can... Otherwise, you only get the blue or purple one later. Boomer said that Fanghorn should be nearby. I could freeze that machine. How do you get the rip, though? Let me just make sure I which part it is. Actually, wait, the rib is just a general quest thing, right? You just kill and loot it, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah it's just a general quest thing, so you just need to kill it. You don't have to. There's the fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. So I guess let's go for it. Oh, yes. 
stuck in the wall there. Should be able to harvest its rib now. Got everything I need nice. for Della and Boomer. Back to Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. It's this way, apparently. It's so very nice. And hopefully, we'll actually end up using this uh, Javelin Pro, otherwise, it would have been a waste. But I have a feeling we're probably gonna use it. Be surprised if we don't. Drink later. I would have done it only to see Boomer. And would that even have been a waste? I think not. I know that look. <laughs> You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Because uh. <laughs> we're going to make you something even better. Baboom! <laughs> Baboom! Alright, so let's have a look at those spikes. Yeah, it is the green version. Nice! You love to see it. Hopefully they'll come in handy. Uh, let's actually head into change grip and just look at the upgrades for it. Since we're here anyway, we might as well. Yo, Baron Light's gates are still open. So we need scrounger's circulator and scrounger's spike pearl. Isn't that what we need? What did we need here? Well, that was sleep lashes. Fair enough. Uh, we'll sell some stuff here. We should have some stuff to sell. We have a blue coil, so we sold that because we're not allowed to keep that. Um, any stuff we can sell here? No. Uh, do we need that? Let's keep it for now. Uh, we don't need a bunch of this stuff. Oh, let's just sell it for now. Get the shots. Safe. And then let's head back to the salvage contractor, buy the other parts we need, and get those upgrades. The quicker we can get these upgrades, the less we have to worry about them later on the run. Then we just have to deal with what we got. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look here. We need um, we need the scrounger circulator. Well, we can't buy more of them. That's unfortunate. So we need to farm one. Oh well, it's not the worst thing in the world to have to farm, so it's fine. Uh, does he not sell the Libla? He does, but we need three. Nah. Probably faster to just farm it out. Um, was there a Libla or Circulator as well? Uh, was there a Libla or Circulator? I needed resonant. I think it was. Let's just buy it. It's fairly cheap. Good call. Did you find those shell walkers, Aloy? So I guess we have to find some scroungers again. Let's quickly farm out those scroungers, then we'll go and do leap lashers, and then all our weapons should be upgraded at that point. Welcome to the party. 
Glad I can help. Nice hit. I think that one might be scripted to never drop, since it's part of like that little quest thing there. Or whatever that is, I actually don't know. I think it's part of the quest. Looks like a bow is like a one shot to shoot off the top now. This is very convenient. There we go, we got it. I could find something interesting inside. Very nice. And then we need the leaf lashers, which we can find down here. So how is everyone doing today, by the way? Hope you all are doing well today. What are you guys up to while watching the stream? Spot it there? Really now. Uh, this... They just never gonna stand still. Very tired, so mostly dosing up. Fair. Are you telling me that missed? Surely you're joking. Uh, is he stuck spinning around forever? Oh, there he goes. That definitely had to happen. Didn't even drop it. What a waste of effort. <laughs> you can drop. Just today. Oh. Anything exciting happening in the matches? Wait, none of them drop? Isn't there one that still has a butt? No, it's a scrapper. Well, I guess we have to go to a different Leap Lasher style. Oh, wait, we don't have any fast draw packs. And I have a feeling I don't have the tools I need to even craft them. Because you need meat for that and I haven't killed any animals. I like that it's standard the game gives you two fast roll packs for crafting in this game. It's really nice because because usually you need two fast roll packs in like so many situations because usually you use them to get back or you usually use them to go you know to one place and then back Didn't give me the drop. Up now. Don't alert your friend, please. These guys are just not gonna drop, are they? Really? How bad luck can you have there? Probably just restart from safe. And then try again. 
So I figured why I didn't charge. The console defaults not supplying power to USB ports when in sleep mode. Yeah, uh, that's a default thing. Without buying a dedicated charger, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta remember uh, to change that. I also noticed that on uh, when I uh, when I first had to charge a controller on PS5. I think on PS4 it was the opposite. But maybe Sony has to be like eco friendly and not do that. On PS5. Didn't get the drop. Give me the drop game, I beg of you. Is it fair to say on G-wise we haven't been that lucky in this run? <laughs> yeah, there's no golden fast travel pack. But given how the game works with fast traveling now, you don't need a golden fast travel pack in this game. Is not gonna get the pot, am I? Let's see if we have more luck down here. Wait, you can't fast roll to that? Really? Surely. You're telling me you can fast roll to that? What kind of bogus is that? I call that bogus. The drop rate's slower and very hard than normal, I have no idea. Maybe. Wait, could you... I'm trying to let up this. This is the door. Oh. Yeah, you can't do let up this either. Sorry, I... I know what you mean. <laughs> Took me a second to realize what you meant. Yeah, but I hadn't unlocked that campfire either, so I can't go to it. So I guess we are riding over there like a plip. Protecting your butt. God damn it. Just do the thing. And he didn't even drop. For all that effort, he didn't even drop. Scam. He didn't drop. Is anyone of you gonna actually have a spike drop? Why is the drop rate like 0 0.001 today? Ah! Yeah, what for a second there, the charger knocked off the path. It kind of looked like it. Are you kidding me? What are these odds? Would it be worth it to shock them first? I don't think I have a shock weapon at the moment. Oh wait, I, I actually do. I have to throw boy, I guess. No, merchants are the same price on very hard. So you can't keep Sunwing? You're not gonna keep the Sunwing in New Game Plus either because it's a quest item. At least a good thing about this is once we have all the upgrades, we don't have to worry about this ever again. Wait, really? I got spotted. Also, just want to point out again, this would be a million times easier if I could use my spear, because then I could just knock them over. But 
that. I'm not allowed to do that. Where is the other leaf flasher? There's supposed to be three of you. Where did your twin go? That's the wrong copy shot. Oh, whoa! That was one hell of a backwards jump there. That was impressive. Would you mind standing still? Yeah, that attack is so annoying. And no pot again! I feel like they will change the Sunwing for new game. That would be lame. <laughs> Sunwing works because you get it late in the game. And also, they would have to add so many invincible walls to so many different places. That would be annoying to fly around in New Game Plus. I don't think they're gonna do that. The drop rate of this has been like so terrible. Like, am I missing something with these machines? I need to scan a leaf ledger. Is there something I'm doing wrong with getting this part, or am I just unlucky? It would be so boring to use the Sunwing in the speedrun. <laughs> you would just fly everywhere. That would just be like point in the right direction and hold X. Do you realize how boring that is? <laughs> when you have to do it all the time? That would not be fun for speedrun. So it wouldn't be a benefit to a speedrun. Time-wise, for sure, but entertainment-wise, hell no. Stop jumping around. Thank you. Let me scan one of them here. What is your drop rate? What am I missing here? 20% chance? Bullshit! I call bullshit. There's no way it's been a 20% drop rate this entire time. I refuse to believe those numbers. Unless you drop one right here. If I actually hit. 20% my ass! Bullshit, how many have I killed at this point? It's supposed to be 1 in 5. And I've killed like what 10 at this point? Or shout out like 10? Those numbers, there's no way those numbers are accurate. Like, come Merchant. on. Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. It might be handy to resupply. <laughs> yeah, 5% would be believable at this point. 20? No way, Jose. <laughs> Some what? Dream sod what? Stop spotting me. It's hard to hit your butt if you're looking at me. That is some major BS right there. Alright, let's head over here and upgrade the weapons. And hopefully on the way, kill some animals so we can get the sea fast travel pack. Need more wild meat for that. Backside section slash pod container. I still have no idea what you're talking about, Raven. Oh, you mean in the stuff I, I didn't loot? 
<laughs> you must be new to my stream. See the whole looting thing? Yeah, I don't do that a lot. <laughs> Wait, we still need shots. Wait, what are they missing now? Grounder. Oh, we need a small machine core. We need braided wire. We can buy that. Um, at least we got the blue thing. Uh, braided wire and... So two small machine cores, we can buy those. And braided wire. Never mind, not important. I, I mean, I know what you mean, but... You know, I'm not good at looting stuff, and people always say, you should loot more, but... See, I'm a very efficient person when I play games. I only loot what I need. And... Pro and uh, Despite what most people will tell you, you don't actually need to loot every single thing you come across. Believe it or not. I'm pretty sure the Lee Blash and Coral cannot spawn in those drops, by the way, if that's what you're thinking. Hey! Hello! Because I've tried that in like every speedrun and they just never drop. So I doubt they actually drop. Um, yeah, let's just get six of them and small machine cores. Where are you at? I need two of them. Wait, there we go. I'll be going into two of those. Thank you. Thanks for the trade, my man. And back to Las Vegas, because we can upgrade the weapons in Las Vegas. Wait, where's the campfire unlocked? If your inventory isn't full, are you even gaming? Yes. You are gaming the superior way. Efficiency is what matters. What's actually in this box? I know there's a blue weapon here, so we're not going to use that, but I forgot what else is in this box. Isn't braided wire? Oh, I accidentally picked up the blue one. I guess we'll sell it for shots. I won't use it, of course. <laughs> Can't think no, I'm in the minority with this. Looks like... I am well aware of that. More over now for than you, because we... some. Hello. Speed. Yeah. Well, what's the? Ah, uh, the mark. You. Yeah. Because I dropped half. Well, you. So without Pam, what is it? She... You got hey. more of those. You're dead. Come on. Uh oh. Fair enough. Part. Come on. I'm There's a foot. You may. Right, Stammers. I'm on it. About the. More. Like Great. All right. Let's upgrade these weapons. Two. Wait. What? Oh, I shots. God damn it. You can trade with the uh, abandon, right? Yeah, at least. Are you? Budget and you. It's. I'm always. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sell, 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 sell. Where's the blue weapon? There it is. Oh, lots of shots from that. Nice. You love to see it. Oh. Do us. Leave us. Best thunderbow for late game. Uh, for the late game, probably the legendary one. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, soon the late game. Well, the legendary one. Because you can have five modifications on it. So clearly it would be better than anything else. Uh, what are we missing here? Scrounger circulator. Did I forget to buy the scrounger circulator? I did forget to buy the scrounger circulator, yeah. So, well, I guess we'll head back for that. What? The amount of things I've forgotten in this run what? so far is staggering. Um, get some more fast roll packs while we add it. Probably not too many, because otherwise we won't have enough shots. So I. Well, the upgrades we need. You get more. Plenty on. And yeah. It was a. Some. Oh. 
Let's head back, man. That circulator. Why can I not pass from? According to Moreland, the herd should be some. Must buy more shots, true. Huntress, you're back. But it's mainly because I made the decision to upgrade. Um, mainly because I have made the executive decision to um, uh, to upgrade this weapon before we continue. I forgot. I I forgot. I need one because. Did you find those show? God, I'm stupid. I forgot I need to get one because we don't. We already bought all the ones we can get. I was close to a campfire and I still used the fast travel pack. Why not? They're so cheap. Not like I'm gonna need that many in this run anyway. Oh, he actually can drop the thing. I guess I've just been unlucky. Actually, wait, I need the circulator. Circulator, you can just kill and loot, right? We can do this kill and loot. That's a ruin from the old world. I have to find something interesting inside. Try pushing it off! Doesn't look like I'm just enjoying the view. I have my fan, Savior, but I can still use a hand freeing my friend. And he didn't drop anything. Let's do it. Great. That's what I wanted. No drops. It was the circulator we needed, not the... Not the finger magic. Can't even begin to describe how annoying it is that a scrounger you can dodge it and yet he still hits you because that's how scroungers work. Because they have that electrical shock. It's not just a physical attack, but you think it's a physical attack because of how they jump at you. But it's not. It's just a trick. There we go. Finally, we got what we needed. Let's loot some stuff to make you guys happy. But you see this thing right here? See, it's one spagger, right? You would assume you need this bugger, and you would probably loot it. I even opened up the menu to loot it. But just to tease you, I'm not even gonna pick it up. I'm gonna ignore it, just to teach you guys a lesson. That you don't need everything. I'm ignoring that one spogger. <laughs> Alright, let's get that upgrade. Should be able to fully upgrade it now, right? Surely. Finally. Nice. Woo! Alright. So now we upgraded all the weapons we wanted to upgrade. Wonderful. At some point, we'll probably go for some pouch upgrades as well. I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Um, let's check out some corals now. Do we have overdraw on the shop shop? No, we do not. So once again, the overdraw coil is useless. Fantastic. Um. Uh. Oh. Anyway, wait, does it have overdraw? I'm not sure. No, it does not. Does any of my weapons have overdraw? I don't think... Does any of the green weapons even have overdraw? I don't think they do, do they? Yeah, they don't. Great. Oh well, we got all the weapons fully upgraded. So now we don't have to think about that anymore. Now we just have to make progress. Blastling does. Oh, the Blastling does. Oh, you're right. Nice. A little bit of overdraw damage on that. Surely that will come in handy. Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. Right, time for that herd. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. 
There's the hurt. I should have the parts I need. More machines? First. Go. I don't more damage than I was ready for. Like the things I need here, do I have to worry about? Let me have a look here. I'm actually not sure. Like the things I need, do I need to worry about destroying something? It just says kill the machines. I don't think I have to worry about destroying a pod. I think we just get it. Just making sure. Ah, oh, that hit me at the perfect time. God, they are so tanky. Well, that's gonna take a bit. Freeze that strong, or was I that low on health that was a one shot? Huh. I guess it was that strong. Um, more machines. Deal with them first. That was good damage this time. We could use a Valor Search here, but. I have a feeling, wouldn't it be better to save it for the Tide River, though? I'm not sure. I think we're sure. We gotta keep moving with these guys. God, there's so many machines in this desk. Yeah, these guys are just gonna chase you forever. No limit to how far they will go for it. I guess we just gotta keep moving here. Oh, hello. Do some bombs in this game. No good. Need ammo. I have no idea what hit me. Hmm. Fair enough then. Why is there so many machines there? Why could it not just be the Bella Bag and I think? Because that would be too easy. And you're right, it would. Damage on the pillow back for now. It's also just all these machines have like throwable attacks. God, this burrow just doesn't give up, does he? Relentless burrow. Shut. I'm dead. Again, probably. Just 
just have to run away. Like the barrel and glint are just relentless right now. You have another bray shot though. Could be nice for the. Amanda's fighting now. The Bella Bank. Oh, nice. Mount Gilded. That works too. One synthetic membrane. Very nice. Better check the other Where's the. Long leg, he's over there. Whoa, no, 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 Kill me. Why? Hey, Lloyd. Move. Why did she just refuse to sprint right there? What the hell? Okay. That takes All right. Care of the we got parts. the bots. Next thing to I worry about is the time. So now we should be safe. <laughs> Are they still chasing me? Probably not. Oh wow, that uh, well that just went absolutely smoothly, doesn't didn't it? <laughs> At least we still have the full valor search for the Tide River, which hopefully will come in handy. The only thing is, I probably should get some more machine muscles. But I don't have that many shots. Shots is still an issue in this run. But we have also spent so many shots upgrading stuff, to be fair. Oh wait, I have machine muscles in my stash. Never mind. I don't need to buy them. Good. Let's head down and get this pot. Run has certainly not been going smoothly so far, but Got the you know what? It's capsule. better than nothing. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. I'm definitely still underestimating some of like these machines and how we were finally going to get away from this place. Much damage well, they do on them. Um, good thing that Aloy showed up. Wheels. What? I've got. I think. I won't go for it. Uh, what's it called? I'm definitely underestimating still how much damage these machines actually do, and I probably should respect them a bit more. Assume so what? it's something I think it well, like we but some what image time at uh, first and then wait at all. Uh, okay time to see if this but the important works. thing with a challenge run like this is that we are making progress so far, so good. So let's enjoy it for now until we get to I don't know some apex funded all that might screw us over <laughs> uh, it's not gonna be fun is it mask seems to be holding no, it's not I've never been able to swim this deep before. Nautical lights. I must be Poseidon's doing. Tilda, I at least have a lot of practice with. I feel like I'm the best player in this game at dodging Tilda. That being said, she's still gonna one shot me, though. Whoa! But I will say I'm pretty good at dodging her. <laughs> I 
door to the other side. I must have been hiding right there. I don't think I can get to it without the machine spotting me. I gotta find a way to deal with it first. Ron said he saw a red light near the floor when the water rushed in. Almost like some warning. Some kind of alarm system? There. Red light. Alert. Critical flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to I don't know how long this challenge will take. First. I'm not gonna finish today, obviously, Here's but the map. There should be an access point for the first if things go well, I would assume we could finish tomorrow, but we'll see. But I have a feeling some of the fights we're gonna... Might take a while. I'm mainly just worried about the Thunderjaw and the... and Tilda. I'm sure some other fights will give trouble too, but those are the ones that I'm most worried about. The other ones I would... There. I kind of feel One fairly comfortable down. with. Better swim back up and find the access point there. Yeah, I'm playing with performance mode. Obviously. Why would you not play in 60 FPS if you have a PS5? According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the door. You would be silly if you don't. <laughs> I'm allowed to use green traps. So no, uh, Should get me to none the of the really good traps are allowed. At least I can sell them for shots. What's the reason for not doing, uh... What's the reason for not doing Poseidon before either in speedruns? Uh... I believe it's, for one, faster to go to the Memorial Grove straight away. Uh, due to less fast traveling. And secondly, you get a lot of skill points from uh, skill point and Bella Search that we use for Poseidon. You get from either or the other missions where we okay. need to pull down. Let's see if that helped. I believe it defaults to resolution because most people play video games okay. on a TV and most here. people that play on a TV yeah, don't know that there's mo that 99% of TVs has a gamer mode uh, which allows for higher than 30 the FPS the therefore default is there. usually always resolution so if you're w playing video games on a TV right now and you don't know about gamer mode on your TV you should use it, because otherwise you don't have 60 FPS. Even if you set it to performance mode on the PlayStation, you won't have 60 FPS. Looks like part of this building. If you play on a monitor, you shouldn't worry at all. There might be a way in. Because I'm pretty sure on monitors that is not an issue. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Yeah, if your TV is too old, you probably don't have mode settings, but a lot of modern TVs have, like, different modes. And uh, standards for most TVs locks you at 30 FPS. And I'm not sure how to change it, because that probably depends on what TV you have. Looks promising. There should be a console in here. That did it! <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there's also the input lag thing. True. Yeah, if you're on PS4, it's not going to change it. It will change for some games, but not Horizon. Horizon is only 30 on uh, on uh, PS4. But uh, some games like Last of Us Remastered would be 60. These machines behind. Could sneak by them. Deal with a big one first. All right. Let's see how this goes. Can we do the Tide River without dying? The place is, fellas. Get to that overhang. Or will this be very sad? A lot of damage. Love to see it.
Could I have bought stamina potions prior to this fight? I didn't even check. Probably would have been worth it if I could have. I feel like stamina potions going to be like a lifesaver in this run. Eventually. Did I destroy it? No, I did not. No! Okay, this is so much quicker than you expect. Probably also should have gathered some more. Great gray shot there. Would he be worth it to freeze? Not sure. Got plenty of machine muscles for now. Whoa, what? That was a weird way to die. I'm not even sure what happened there. I mean, I dodged it and then it looked like I got stuck and then he turned into me. Huh. Weird. Let's go again. <laughs> yeah, that one was kind of strange. Good shots while we still have search. Beautiful. of a potion and get stuck again so many things you can get stuck on in like every fighting arena in this game and every time i drink a potion he hits me immediately so this is already a gg stamina So just do no hit. Play the rest here. We are out of shots now too. Could be fixed by looting some stuff. Yeah, we have bombs as well. Got nothing left to shoot on here. Draw a potion I'm not allowed to use. Also, wouldn't even be worth it since 
Oh, nice. Knock down. Down it goes. Hey, we got it. Nice. Hey, <laughs> I'm surprised I managed to clutch that. Up. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Come on, gentlemen, get a move Ooh, on. GG. <laughs> I did not expect to clutch that up, but uh, we did. Let's go. Uh, I should have used the bombs a little earlier there, maybe. I don't know. That worked. GG. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to really focus and you get it. Jesus. He was a tough fight, but uh, I did a okay. good job there in that attempt. And we got him. In some kind of processor. <laughs> I need to find a we were a bit low on resources going there. into that fight. Definitely something we need to keep in mind for future there. fights. I should be able to use that console. Is how many resources we have prior to the fight starting? That's because I don't loot enough. Gosh. <laughs> I know. It's a plague of being a speedrunner. You always try to be efficient, and then when you do a challenge run, you'd like forget you can loot stuff. <laughs> Gotta bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon trigger to restarted the city's power system. Morland and crew must have headed back up top. With all the embers they could carry. I actually wonder for speedrunning, would, wouldn't it be better to use this to glide up? Or is it not far enough? Yeah, it's not far enough. Let me actually check, is there a speedrun skip here? Like, could we get up here? We kinda get up. The Aloy doesn't really grab. Surely there's a way to jump up without climbing. Oh, oh, you can just... Never mind. It's that easy, apparently. <laughs> but when you win, that's a big victory. True. When you clutch out a fight where you have very low resources, it just feels great. Probably won't be the last time in this playthrough. Let's be fair here. <laughs> And let's watch the cutscene up here because this is one of the best cutscenes in the game. I think you all want to see it. Be nice not to have to climb back up. And it's not a speed run, so we're in no rush. <laughs> Pride and accomplishment, exactly. I need to buy some more loot boxes to get that. She did. Let's enjoy this wholesome gutscene. <laughs> this is oh. definitely one of the best moments in the oh, game. Show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. <laughs> His dream realized. His old gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. 
Goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> this delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Beautiful. If Moreland and crew is going to stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But with all the ruins here... Back to base. What were your guys' like favorite moment in the game? I would probably say Las Vegas probably was like my favorite, maybe. Yeah, like this? Oh. If you keep frowning that hard, you'll get wrinkles. I just what loot are we gonna get here? Maybe uh, some blue potions we can't use. Uh, I'm probably just gonna loot it and sell it so we're not low on shots. Let's just grab it. We'll just head to a merchant at some point to sell stuff. The death of Hades on that convo, that's a good one too, yeah. Uh, machine print fighting, yeah, that one was cool too. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge beside But yeah, Las Vegas was just such a nice Afterwards, memorable moment. I must discuss an important matter with you. Most eluding. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> God damn it, you guys and your looting. I feel like we need to start some sort of AA meeting for excessive looters. So, <laughs> all right. So you guys can be cured from your excessive looting. When the studios and CEOs, CEOs died. <laughs> I'll check it out when I can. The first moment you fly? Oh yeah, that was pretty cool too. I'm, I just hate that that moment was spoiled for me though. I feel like the first moment you fly would have been such a cool moment for me, but I had it spoiled prior to the game coming out, unfortunately. Do we have enough resources to do the beta thing now, or should we go and buy some stuff? Hmm. We only have to kill two specters, to be fair. Can you even go and do some stuff before you leave here? Or are you forced to do it? Uh, there it is. That rant was amazing content, though. True. Uh, where's the stash, Looks actually? Like someone's made this space their own. I, see. I always forget. Where's the stash in base? Is there a stash in base, even? It is in Eloy's room, yeah, I thought so. Wait, where? Oh wait, this is Val and So's room. This is the baby creation room. That's not the Looks correct like room. I was able to unlock that door. This is Eloy's room. We don't have blast pace, but I don't think I necessarily need to blast pace. Nah. Let's just go for it. We might be a bit underlooted, but we will persevere. Or die trying. <laughs> we don't have any regular acid traps. Can I craft them? Because they would become in handy. We have the upgraded acid traps, but not going to be allowed to use those. Had enough supplies. It's gonna be a trek to get to so the let's get some acid traps want. for that we can place. Yeah, it'll be nice to stretch my legs. <laughs> There's you. Let's go. Look, some petty. <laughs> Aaron discovering concrete beats potty true. Oh, they're obviously more zenith than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make Yo, it. one of the explosive weapons. Uh, I don't think I need them to be honest for the two specters there. Whatever the rebels did. I might end up so eating those shoot. words, but I don't think I need them right but now. Why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? 
It looked like she could make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait the here. Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Oh, the skin's cracking from the cold. Another one of my favorite moments in the game was also Kotalo getting his new arm and him, you know, realizing he doesn't need it. Or, you know, he feel like he doesn't ah. need it. Ah. And hot. also the plow horns or the land gout singing after you repair them. That moment is awesome to too. On it once it's cooled off. An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. Oh yeah, the plane song as well, Ian. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Uh, yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. More loot in here. Oh wait. Can you not get in there? Is it in here you get in there? Ah yes. It is. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Well, no are you guys happy now? I'm looting stuff. Probably discovering amazing things. For their own benefit. Yeah. Hectogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a zero dawn. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look at the control console to access the storage units. Yeah, there's just so many Can it tell us amazing the moments. Is in one of them? <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's get the loot here before we start. Oh, we actually got some blast paste. Nice. At least we have two bombs, which is better than nothing. All right. 236 contained. I should prepare right. before Gotta remember, we are not allowed to use I the advanced really traps. The we can only use the basic ones. So we'll use them right here. Actually, that reminds me, I need to learn the skill so I can place free before he spawns in. I should have time to place free. That's it for that. Here it comes! Hopefully ready to race on top of it. That did not do as much damage as I hoped. Alright. Get that acid on him though. Hoping for a lot more damage. Rip. Oh, I forgot there's an explosion after he does that. So we got a good hit on him there. I am allowed to sell the high level stuff, yes. Just not allowed to use it. That thing's quick! At least this guy is all over the place right now, so. Shot ready here. Let's see, gonna use his cannon. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Timing. I need to get my stamina back he first. Took his guns away. Wait, I was stamina. I didn't shoot. Oh, 
But did the cancel somehow come? Oh, we got the shot there. Alright, I think the trick is just gonna be to keep moving for now. Gotta make sure we have a count. Find it out. In case it goes behind the walls, you know? Gotta try to hit some of that gold plating. Have some skill points, maybe I can get the skill that gives stamina faster again. No, nah, we don't uh, cost two, right? Yeah. I can barely not get it, unfortunate. A second there, he was like bugged out and just gonna sit there. That would've been easy. <laughs> Shot on the weak spot there. Moving again. Great shot. Some more bombs there. Now I need more. We got a good fighting arena for this guy. There's lots of cover to utilize and not a lot of that stuff to get caught on. And there we go, we got him. Very nice, beautiful. There. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. So we got one got more it. to worry I'll about. Follow once the coast is clear. But very nice fight there. At least the good thing is in the other fight here, we'll have a little bit of help from Aaron. Not sure how much of a help it will be, but I guess we'll see. What do you think of the Spectres? Do you like them? Uh, they're alright. I, w I w did expect them to be a little bit harder to kill, but... Hey, Loy. Ah. Aaron! Yeah, the Spectres well, maybe because the first time you meet it, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And later Contact. on you find multiple there. at them of one, Just so hurry. they're more difficult when there's multiple, but when there's only one, they're not too difficult oh, in my opinion. Good. I gotta get to Errand. But once there's multiple of them, they become a bit more challenging. So I guess I was a little underwhelmed when I first fought it. Errand, I'm here. Is what I'm trying to say. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. There's also a stalker gun here on the ground, but obviously we won't be allowed to pick it up. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of I need to sneak around behind it. Great shot. Thing head on. Heavy weapon. I could use it against the Spectre. Where there you go. Gotta hit those weak spots. I think it's also here in the fighting arenas, you're fighting them compared to other machines. You, The arenas here work a lot more to your advantage compared to, say, the arena you fight the Tide River in, if you know what I mean by that. Hey, watch this! Idiot meets hammer! Not gonna go for it. Oh. Get beaten 
Yeah, they look cool and I like that they are really unique compared to the other machines. I guess we're not going for stuff. I think uh, the difficulty of just fighting one also has something to do with in this arena we're in right now. They are fairly, you know, you got so much cover to work with and it's not the a lot of stuff to get stuck on like you saw in the tide river fight or some of the other places you a find heavy weapon that could help i know i do have bellow search but i think it's better to save it for the tremor tusk because we're not gonna get any more bellow search prior to the tremor tusk uh, i'll just save it for now in case you're wondering why I'm not using it. Oh, hello. Careful there. Woo! That's close. I can keep this going. A little bit stuck there. Are you gonna shoot again? Here you are. Thank you. That's a weak spot. Drop weapons are not green weapons, so I'm not allowed to use them. In this challenge run. Well, I never heard that dialogue from Aaron. <laughs> oh wait, I have another brace shot. I kind of forgot I had the brace shot. <laughs> if I'm honest. There we go. I kind of forgot. <laughs> Waited for the brace shot to judge up. But there we go, GG. Another Spectre down. So invincible after all. And another win in the book. And a level up, true. Now we can get the stamina regen. The stamina regen is gonna be huge for this run, I feel like. Maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenith. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Welcome back. Aloy. Thanks, Guy. Anybody seen one of my machines? I'm just gonna keep it simple and not use any drop Aloy. weapons. Raven. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. I'll let this cutscene play, because why not? Let's Hello? listen to the dialogue. And also because this is where I'm gonna call it for today. And then we'll finish the rest, hopefully tomorrow, Sorry. unless some tomorrow beta, some other right? fights take way too long. My name's Aloy. Because it's getting a little late. I was hoping we could it's make wrong. a bit more progress today, so but sadly injured? the technical difficulties got in the way. I but uh, we will continue it tomorrow and hopefully finish tomorrow, but device. entirely depends on how things go, Rain, I guess. Especially the cerebellum goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels but uh, I have a feeling some of the fights we are gonna head into tomorrow is gonna be uh, is there anything to put it help? mild be a bit more focus, difficult <laughs> so uh, it's, it's we'll see but I can make it work <laughs> yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> booting up So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information about you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves, not their descendants. What? 
Not their descendants, it, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years so, yeah. ago. You didn't know? GG, for today. They still be alive. They don't even look. What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you, does that mean that. So, which fights do I'm you guys like think them. I'm gonna struggle with I was tomorrow? Made <laughs> on the way to Earth. So let's see, oh, what fights do we have left that are going to be challenging? We have the Tremitos coming up. Interface. That will be the next so one. Serve my function. After the Tremitos fight, we then have the snake in the Why? arena. What do the it's going to be tough. When I discovered the um, system had disseminated into then we have the Red Ring my was in the greenhouse. The Thunder Jaw. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start. Um, the Thunder Jaw before Thebes. And then we have the Slaughter Spine, of course, oh. inside. Gemini. Then we have Regala, Eric, and then Tilda. All right, I think that's enough for now. <laughs> All Do the machines are tagging. Come upstairs, or so how long? Yeah, basically every machine is gonna be tough, but I don't know. Some you of know, these fights are gonna be tough later on for sure. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So. Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? Slaughter's Band, yeah, already? I'm thinking that too. Slaughter's Band is going to be capture it. it's not interesting. To a, to a single location, of course not. Is there a green... Now that I think about it, is there a green bow you, you can buy that? somewhere that has freeze You're supposed to be further along arrows? by now. Coming here was a mistake. Because that would be They're huge for the Slaughter's Band fight. They're going to find I need to live into that tomorrow. back. This was all for nothing. But then you could do a lot of damage. Also, shock Guys, arrows would be nice. I don't know if any green weapons make? have them. You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, are going to die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? But yeah, so I, I know there are free bows and shock arrows. I just don't I know if any of them sense. are green. And but uh, that's something I'll look into tomorrow because that could be quite useful against some of the canisters these machines have. Physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Because I know the like slaughter spine has a lot of uh, corals. You can hit that are freeze and shock on its butt. I've said butt a lot today, but I like saying the word butt, so I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. Injury's not that bad, <laughs> but I think she regrets coming here. So using those would be, be quite natural. handy. Hmm. And luckily, also the slaughter spine is very takes a lot of damage from brace shots, so that's also a good thing to keep in mind, which will be nice. So I guess we won't be making use but of. But yeah, GG. And now there is. Let's uh, call it for today on the run, and then we'll continue tomorrow. And see how see if we'll complete it tomorrow it. hopefully we'll see <laughs> we'll have a lot more time to play tomorrow for of course when we won't have the technical difficulties but uh i have a good feeling about finishing it tomorrow but i might end up eating those words because some of the fights could easily take a lot of time if i uh you know if it doesn't go too well let's put it that way so yeah gg